What's going on guys, Bengal again here, coming back at you with another video today, back on Lions Franchise. Today we're going to take on the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And it's not going to be an easy one. We're facing a bitter rival this week in the Packers and limiting the impact of Devontae Adams must be a top priority. How will you stop him? Well, he's really good. Let's just, let's, let's just get that out of the way. We're not going to lie. He's a fantastic player and I don't think there's a way you can truly stop him. Your only hope is to slow him down and pray he doesn't wreck your game. That's fair. We got to beat him. Got to beat him. We are looking for our first win of the season, as are the Green Bay Packers. As are the Green Bay Packers. And we do actually have staff points that can be used this week. I think XP gains for safeties could be pretty good to get Tracy Walker going a little bit. So we'll do that. I think that's a fine use of our staff points there. And we're going to go ahead and hop in to weekly strategy and see what our plan is going to be. Defend the deep pass. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I mean, how is Aaron Rodgers going to beat you? Probably down the field. Loves to do that. And I've noticed that the Madden CPU from week one, they're not afraid at all. They're not afraid at all. We're going to try and uh, run it outside this week. Not afraid at all to air it deep. And they had Jimmy Garoppolo last week. Kind of whatever, right? This is Aaron Rodgers this week. This is a whole different ball game. And it's going to be, it's going to be a very different experience. So we need to defend the deep pass any way we can. And we're going to upgrade Panay Sewell. And I think getting him into the actual scheme fit is gonna be important. He goes up to a 76 overall. We're gonna focus on pass protector for him for the most part, I think. Still don't know his development trait, but I think I do from doing a fantasy draft. It's pretty good. Good player to have. But we're gonna play our season game on the road against the Green Bay Packers. Let's see what we got. It's gonna be a primetime matchup. Packers-Lions on primetime. That feels like a bad idea. Maybe. All right, here we go. <laughs> Packers Lions. We'll see what we got. Aaron Jones breaks the first tackle. Gets a yard. Could have been worse. It's not a bad start for us. Third and five. I don't really like anyone here. I don't like anyone. As Rogers is going to just sling it. And that's nearly intercepted off the hand to Will Harris. Almost an insane catch. But it falls incomplete. J.K. Scott will punt. Not a bad opening stop for our defense there. And maybe Khalif Raymond can do something. Nope. Can we run on them? I mean, that's where the Packers should be susceptible, honestly. Oh, I thought DeAndre Swift was going to break that. I thought he was going to break that. But a 12-yard rush is, I think, longer than any carry he had last game. So, of course, we're not going to run it next play. I mean, I, I should have actually chose instead of just finding out the, what the play was going to be <laughs> by the play art as Brashad Perriman gets seven. Let's get past midfield with the first down. Oh, wow. Look at the chase down from Rashawn Gary. What are you talking about? Fourth and one. We're going for it. We're staying aggressive. And fourth and one from this field positioning is go for it territory. It absolutely is. Only four down linemen. DeAndre Swift is getting this. Swift up the middle, first down. We take those. Play action, Hawk open. There we go. Oh, and he breaks a tackle as well. Jair Alexander versus TJ Hawkinson in the open field is a recipe for disaster for the Packers. First and 10. This is safety blitz. We have to get rid of the football quickly. We could though. I don't know if I like Hawk on this. Like it back across. It's intercepted. That's sick. Just stop your route. Stop your route in the middle, please. Of course, I'm starting this game off with an interception because how else would I start it? Why did you stop running? Like, you know the why are you running meme? This is why did you stop running? I don't like anything there. But if you, if you don't just randomly stop, I think you lead into the open area. Like, why did he do this? Why did he just stop? I, I, I honestly don't get it. And I don't get how to use his freaking camera. Look at this. Just stops. 
Frustrating. And I'm already throwing picks. That's, I'm going to throw four more this game, so don't even worry about it. Make a play. Tavai can't wrap up, but he can, you know, contributes to that stop. Over the middle, we were never going to get to that. We were never going to get to that. Big Bob Tunyon. The flowing locks there for Robert Tunyon. Big first down. They're running the ball a lot. I know they have Aaron Jones, right? But, like, they also have Aaron Rodgers. We think they'd be throwing a little bit more. Cover the slant. Cover the slant. Oh, my goodness. Couldn't even. Devontae Adams, first down and more. Rodgers slinging it. And Okuda makes a nice pass breakup. Just keep Rodgers in the pocket. I mean, what are we going to do there? Probably stay on Randall Cobb a bit longer. Also, Randall Cobb's back with the Packers. That's right. But Rodgers is going to scramble and get yardage. Ah, this is a tough spot. That's between a rock and a hard place. And there's a pitch. Aquara in the open field cannot wrap up. Okay, no interception this drive. That'll be a personal victory. <laughs> And, I mean, we're just going to check down there. On the run, complete to Kabinda. The fullback. Converted linebacker, Jason Kabinda. As we make that throw on the run. Love to see that. Definitely not like uh, at the end of last game. You guys saw week one, which I hope you did. And it did not work a second time. Third and nine after a failed run. And I don't even know what we do here. Maybe Quintess Cephas and play four down territory. That's open over the middle. TJ Hawkinson, that's got to be a first down. And they're going to call it fourth and inches. And I'm going to say we're probably going to go for this again. And I know it's like, why in the world are you an empty here? You know why? You know why? Because we can option out of it. <laughs> and we can give the ball to DeAndre Swift. They don't have their heavy package in the game. We got Hawkinson to block up the middle. First down, DeAndre Swift. It's that mental aspect of the game. <laughs> All right, I'm in Ross St. Brown here, getting the jet sweep. We're gonna spin this back. Wow, that was a terrible idea. Is that gonna be open? I think it is. Man, Jared Goff's terrible. Get him out of here. Bring me David Blau. Did I cut him? I may have. Well, okay, so no, no David Blau is an option. I mean, this team. This team. Swift, please. Catches it. Just Jared Goff couldn't get it there under pressure. And now we have trouble seeing deeper receivers. So I'm going to throw an interception because of that. I hate life. But I'm not known for my offensive ability. What I am known for is being the best punter on YouTube. And that was a pretty good one. Not amazing. I got to get warmed up. Still a little rusty, but not bad. And that's a quick throw. Complete. To, looks like Devin Funches, maybe? Rodgers is in the zone. That very much sucks. And that, like, ah, make a play, Trey Flowers. Oh, he's just going to break every tackle. Devin Funches. What are we doing? How do we not tackle him there? <laughs> uh, just no one. It's, it's like tackling without arms. It's not even arm tackling. It's just, wham. Can we tackle you like this? Good Lord. And my screen is shaking a lot. We're no longer on a pirate ship. We are on a speedboat, just going right over the choppy waves, and uh, it's not good. It's not good. Love how he bounces off the sideline there, running back into coverage. That was fantastic. I can't, I don't know what, I don't know what the buttons are. My buttons. All right, I gotta, I gotta memorize all these. I, there's no shot. Oh my God, pressure. 
Oh, I'm gonna get mad. We need momentum. I, we can't run the football. I'm gonna try. You're gonna see it's not gonna go well. I mean, three yards, I guess. Swift. Swift first down. That's maybe a gain of eight. We got to score before the half. We got to score before the half ends. Have to. Have to, have to, have to. Hawkinson. I mean, Jair kind of collapsed on that really, really quickly. Couldn't wait on the corner. They're getting crazy pressure rushing four. They're getting crazy pressure. So we really have to get rid of the football quickly. That is not a good throw, but it worked out. Third and one. Come on, DeAndre. First down. Love to see it. We're managing the clock fairly well as well. Averaging about four yards per carry with DeAndre Swift. These are things you like to see. And we're gonna roll out. I'm looking for options. Not really seeing them. Gonna have to throw it away. Quick slant. How did he break on that so quickly? That's unbelievable. And of course, we're shaking again. Third and 10. I still can't believe we didn't get a completion on that. I'm kind of at a loss. I remember Hawkinson's X. What do we do here? We're down 14. We're down 14 against a clearly superior team. It's fourth and four. I know this is gonna be a decision probably a lot of guys don't like, but it's a decision we need to make. I think we have to go for it just because I don't think making this 14 to three really helps us out that much. I think we really need to try and go for the touchdown here. I really think we do. Rolling out. I don't know what the buttons are. I don't know what they are. Perriman out of the back of the end zone. Not knowing the buttons is killing me. He didn't get two feet in. He just didn't. He didn't. And that is the end of the first half. Down 14-0. It could be 14-3. Not saying that would have changed a whole lot, honestly. And, I mean, I'd love better run blocking. But let's go inside this time. And then defensively, I feel like we've been doing a pretty good job. We're going to keep defending the D-pass. Start of the second half, and momentum is still completely in favor of the Green Bay Packers. But we're going to try and run up the middle here. Kabinda did not do anything good there at all. Like, I don't get how we're supposed to follow him if he doesn't actually pick up the guy at the second level of the defense that he needs to pick up. We're going to try it again. He goes up the middle. Like, the play does not call for us going up the middle to the right on that. And yet it's the only place that we actually have room to run. Now third and four. What do we do? I got to throw the slant there. I have to. We're going to run up the middle. Please. I try to slide. Goodness. Jared Goff first down, though. We need to get momentum back on our side in a big way so I can actually see what receiver I'm throwing to. Oh my goodness, Swift breaks a tackle. Kenny Clark got in there in a hurry. But we're starting to find it a little bit with DeAndre Swift. We are starting to find it a little bit. We need to convert on third and two here. It is four down territory, I think, still from this spot in the field. DeAndre Swift to make sure it doesn't matter. First down. Jamal Williams now, and he has some more space. Nine yard gain they're gonna give him. There we go, DeAndre Swift, nice catch. Methodically moving down the field here. We need to cap off this drive with a touchdown. Second and 10. Hawkinson wide open. Thankfully I remembered his button and TJ Hawkinson nearly has a touchdown down to the one yard line. That's the only guy I can successfully throw it to. Thank you, TJ Hawkinson. Alize Mack. Alize Mack in motion. Do we throw it to TJ Hawkinson? He doesn't really get open. Lobbed it to DeAndre Swift. Swift diving it. Not close to the end zone. He's going to be short. Five points, Vince. Can't believe it. Second and goal. Slant. Tyrell Williams, touchdown! Second time in two weeks he finds the end zone. He's not getting consistent targets, but he's getting catches when it counts. Big touchdown 
And we're only down by seven now. This is huge. How are we gonna hang in man coverage? Probably, we're probably just not going to. That's gonna be super open. Trey Flowers against Devontae Adams. How is that the matchup? How is that the matchup? We don't have a corner on him? Third and 10. Please stop Aaron Rodgers. Please stop him. Please stop him. Over the middle, Nikel Roby Coleman can't hang and then somehow we can't make the... Can I make the tackle when I'm spamming X, please? Please, can we not run past him, please? Quick throw, Devontae Adams. Thought that might have been a touchdown, honestly. Quick throw, that is actually dropped by Devin Funches. Quick throw, I'm all over it. I feel like that was as covered uh, as it could have been. Doesn't matter. Packers, I mean, they're doing a whole lot more than knocking on the door right now. They're about to bust it down. Courtesy of Aaron Jones. Broken tackle. Somebody bring him down. Touchdown. Oh, my God. How? Just better than us. Hawk, wide open over the middle. Not being able to see the buttons. Killing me. You'd think it wouldn't be that big of an issue, but I'm telling you, it's that big of an issue. Wide open. Brashad Perriman, just be faster than everyone. That's all you're good for. Okay. I think I know the buttons. Can we get that in there? Goff, deep for Cephas. They can't hold on. That floated too long. I think we're going to have something open here. Quick throw to Hawk. Okay. We gotta go for a touchdown here, obviously. This is four down territory. I mean, we just have to. Just have to. Let's be real about it. The right side of the field should be super open. Hawkinson. Under pressure, inaccurate. I'm already sick of seeing that in Madden 22. I threw the ball about as soon as we could have. They got pressured that quickly? Maybe could have thrown it very quickly to DeAndre Swift. But Hawkinson was going to be way more open. How much time is this from the snap? 1-1,000, one, 2-1,000, two, and he's there. Brutal. Brutal. Oh, is that going to be a touchdown? I thought, they, they thought that really could have been a touchdown. I will say, though, like... It's kind of good with the franchise that we're just going to lose every game because the Lions probably are not going to win every game in real life. So these games being a real challenge is good and other teams just being way better is good as Amani Warawari gets an interception but out of bounds. Nearly intercepted by Okuda. That's really good coverage though. It's like, yeah, going for the football is great, but actually... Getting a hand on Devontae Adams, stopping the catch, really, really important as well. And we got to make a play here. Moore dove past it. That's okay, though. I mean, it's, it's not a gimme on this one. From the 41, this makes it a 51-yard field goal. Kick is up. And blocked! No, it's not by Michael Brockers! Oh, my goodness. It nearly was blocked. Mason Crosby drills it anyway. 24-7, the Packers take the lead even more. Quick throw to Jason Cabinda. There we go. Third and inches. I mean, Cabinda's really not going to do anything here, I imagine. Actually, nice. Oh, I tried to get through that little hole. We're just going to air out Tyrell Williams. If he burns over the top, we're going to launch it up. I think we can get it to Hawk, though. Nope. He made up a lot of ground. Tried it again. Hawkinson, go up and get it. And he can't hold on. Goff rolling out. I don't know what these buttons are. I can't throw it. I can't throw it. I just need a block. Goff tiptoeing. Vanilla Vic action. Oh, and I'm wearing this. I'm wearing the merch. This one's like the gray crew neck, but merch link is in the description if you want the Vanilla Vic action. Jared Goff looking like the vanilla version of Michael Vick there. 
Quick throw. There we go. Tyrell Williams breaks a tackle. Nearly gets the first down. We're going hurry up. Play action. Okay. I don't know what the buttons are. Is that the button? I chose correctly. Tyrell Williams first down. I mean, it's literally a guessing game down the field of what these buttons are. Hawkinson. I need that to be a catch. Quick action to DeAndre Swift. Swifty getting shifty. Doesn't make anyone miss, though. We can get one more, one more snap off, I think, here. Ideally, Hawkinson gets open. I think we have that. That's not the right one. I wanted the back of the end zone. Like, I really think that's a touchdown. I really think that's a touchdown. <laughs> I wanted to throw it. I tried to. Rolling out. Uh, it's fourth and three, and I threw it away. I thought it was third down. Uh, that's great. We, nothing was open anyway, but we at least would have had a chance. Make a stop. Nope. What about there? Will Harris wraps up. We're not even going to bother calling timeouts at this point. I think we're going to drop this one 24-7. to seven. Packers in victory formation, and that is going to do it. At any, any time now. <laughs> That's going to do it. 24-7. We were just outplayed. The Packers are just a better team, and they showed it. Similar line, honestly, for Goff and Rodgers. The only difference being that Rodgers threw the ball far fewer times and did not throw an interception. Rushing, I mean, it wasn't even close. We were a little bit better with DeAndre Swift this week than last week. And then receiving... The whole not being able to see the buttons thing is tough, but TJ Hawkinson remains our number one receiver, and I don't think that much is going to change. No pressure on Rodgers the entire game. A few tackles for loss and obviously no picks. Just a tough matchup. Yeah, I mean, it, there's going to be a lot of losses, and we're going to have to answer for a lot of those. I hate losing. The coaches hate losing. The players hate losing. In most cases, you don't get to avenge a loss, but we know we'll see them again. It's already marked on the calendar. And our defense is going to have minus three play rec and tackle for the next game. Well, that's a loss. That's already a problem. And it will continue to be a problem. Next week, things do not get easier. We play the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson. Still winless. The Ravens are one and one. And it's going to be a problem. But scouting is available. Again, for like season two to three, that's going to change. When we have to restart the franchise and I'll make, you know, all the overalls will still be the same in the progression that you guys see. But um, we will have the new scouting update. For now, it remains the same, but I'm not going to show you that just yet. That'll be in week three. So thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Over you, yeah, yeah. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.